G'day. We're at Touch Line Round Podcast. We are in a secret location. We'll find out what the location is. Who knows? Welcome once again to the Touch Line Round Podcast. This is episode 109. We're talking about, we are talking about um, Man City vs Southampton. Game. We're going to have a look at Arsenal versus Wolves. We're going to have a look at Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Then we're going to talk about all the other Premier League games. Anyone else? Anything to add at this juncture? Yeah, I need to go into a bit of uh, how fans perceive players and players perceive fans. And that's something to look forward to, isn't it? I can't wait. And I was, I, I was going to say the same thing. I haven't got just, a title for it yet. He, he, he went there first, and I was actually going to say the same thing. What are you? Bringing? I was going to do it the other way around. I was going to say how uh, how players perceive fans and fans. Perceive players. It, what would you prefer? The players prefer fans of which one? And I'll do the other one. Fans perceive players. And then I'll do players perceive fans. There we are, sorry. Should I play the music? Yeah, play, play the music. Cool. One nil away from your glad. Right, we're gonna start <laughs> section one. I wanna pose a question early. Can anyone see any other result than a rerun of the EFL Cup. I'm going to I'm gonna pose a counter question for you. Okay. <laughs> what would you be thinking if you were a Ralph What, after being hammered 9 0 by Leicester and then losing 3 1 to Man City in the Cup? I'd be thinking, <laughs> help. Crap, we've got to play them again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the way they handle that situation? Here you are. Your wages for the week. Go to some charity. Go. Help some kids out. Do something useful. Give us oh, to drop be honest, some Mitch knowledge. Is that, is that, is that, good, is that good, PR. good PR? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yes. It, is, it is. It is good. It is good. I mean, obviously, you know, the fans will be thinking, well, it shouldn't come to this, to be honest. But I think it does at least show that the players feel that they have to earn their wage in some way and they have to play for the shirts. It does say there's a recognition there and, and hold your hands up and say, listen, we didn't do we didn't do what we should be doing. We paid to do. Here's my wages. Here's my wages. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, an ama- he's having a great season. Um, Oh, Aguero as well for all you fancy football Will he play though? Fans, well he, he started last night He did um, Does that mean he will Against him in the cup I mean there will be scores. noise or there won't be noise Wolves without Bolly Big loss That's a huge loss Massive That is a I huge loss We were what's, talking what's to What's bigger than huge? They're both so there's, the no pressure, right? there's no crisis There's no crisis You never crisis. think there's a crisis There's, no there's crisis. been an Arsenal crisis for nine years There's no Arsenal crisis <laughs> Forever in crisis Support If you're a supporter you should support Probably you know, a lot of us don't seem to have an issue with that statement. There's, look, Wolves are under pressure as much as anyone as well. They're almost having the season I expected them to have the first year out of the championship. Yeah. Then you know, but they out the blocks last year. They yeah. did really well, and now people are almost looking at the season and going, "Oh, they're a bit rubbish." They're not. They're all at the same position. Yeah, I think if you weigh them out, there's far more pressure on Wolves to get the result here than Arsenal. If you went into the opera house now and you said, can I have the hint sheet that Alex, Luke and Mitch are singing for well, they go, well, then you only need one. Right? There's yeah. just <laughs> you only three. Yeah. Here's one, you go, where's the other two? No, no you, you got know, it. It's the same it. one. Well, same I one. copy it. Don't need it. No, don't need it. Same, same one. one. It's just got a picture of every on it. Say good evening. Because he is part of Vampire. I've found this out recently. Found it out recently when he started scratching at his window. People have died because they've gone back out and played sport with a concussion. <laughs> Manchester United versus Bournemouth. Come on, let's see you, let's see you chirp up. Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Let's see you chirp up. You've heard you of this. Are you positive? Or are you uh, positive right I'm way more positive than I would than you have ever been have been a week ago. Oh, yeah, no. sure. Yeah. Are you guys. We were, we were, come and say hello. We were on a, we were on a, on a podcast. Yes. Oh, hang on, I said, we're recording. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time you sort of put anything over the other side of that, Do you want me to get them? Off if you could, so Do you follow football? Only, anywhere yeah. over here. Is that one OK or not? <laughs> <laughs> that one will trigger off in the last year. Yeah. But both of them have. Yeah. No. Is that all right? That, that one's right? triggering. Just, I mean, this is life. I'm going to lie to the UK. Yeah. Lovely. All right. Thank is you very that, much. No worries. No worries. Yeah, thank cheers. you very much. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Yeah, cheers. Um, it's a first. It could easily, they could easily be united. So what happens then? Uh, it's all shy then. There's much hatred. It's not easy to see. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Look, we said, I say that. The worst thing that could happen to Manchester United season. There's no one like that. Manage, man. 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 Man
It's elsewhere. You know, so it's it is elsewhere. So what? Okay. So if you're Bournemouth, 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 yes. Bournemouth with the Callum Wilson. Let's go. Let's move on to Bournemouth. Then. Sparky, yeah. Bournemouth, Bournemouth again. I think are having just who a Bournemouth like, season. Who doesn't like Bournemouth? Having a bum there. You like Bournemouth? I, you like I Bournemouth? Mean, I, I like Bournemouth. My love for Eddie Howe is exponential. I love yes. Eddie Howe. I think he's the, the most. What? He is the prime example. Yeah. We got a guest on our show. <laughs> West Ham, Newcastle. Chris Wood will be back. Ah, I don't even want to talk about West Ham, Newcastle. Don't even want to talk it? Um, no. Watford, Chelsea. Chelsea, did you see... Um, Playing well. Did you see Lampard's flip-floppers comment? No. Frank Lampard said anyone who would just not play youth, you know, a manager that would try playing young players and then not stick with them is a flip-flopper. So if you want to play young players and you... you that's what your team is set around. You need, flip -floppers. you need to keep your uh, flip floppers here. Flip floppers everywhere, yeah. Flip, we're flip flopping. And I like the fact that Lamb, I like the cut of his jib. I'm going to say 2 0. 2 more than 2 0. I, I think that rounds it up nicely. Talk about the issues next. Issues? Can I send this section out? Um, multicultural. Lots of feedback that's come into us about this show. John Aloisi says better than sex. Mark Bosnich says looks, Luke looks like he's put on weight. Cahill brothers Tim and Gary said absolutely seamless transition. It's like you boys have never been away. Slip right back into the groove. Wonderful stuff. Keep it coming. Mark Viduka says piss off out of my country. Dan Lazarida says bring back the security guard. He was great. Dan Lazarida loves the sign now. And I think he enjoyed the, this episode. I know he focused on the security guard part, but it was mostly mm. positive. I think on the whole, yeah. I think what we can say is that most people enjoyed it except for Duke. Oh, well. And that is it for 109, episode 109 in the can. Thank you very much for listening, for watching, for following us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Attached Life Rant. Thank for you, Stan the security guard. Stan the security guard. Have we got anything else to uh, yes. add at this juncture? Uh, well, yeah, I have. Oh, well, I think that was it. Well, no, it's too, too, too dense. Too dense. <laughs> All right, then, I'll add something then. Uh, the two shirts that these lads are wearing, lads on top, um, are available to purchase. DM us. £25. All 100% of profit made from the shirt sales go to the wallet. Great charity. Um, support CSKA. Support a touchline like brand. And if you, when you buy the shirt, if you quote the, um, uh, the discount code GAD2019, yeah. um, you'll get... Um, See what happens. <laughs> and I'll get, I'll get some of the money. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. It all goes to the wallet. Oh, There's right. no GAD promotional code. Thank Thanks. you very much for yeah. listening. And, and we're off now. Out, outro. 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 Sing the outro. Touch line. Outro. Touch line. line. Outro. 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 <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, okay.